Hi, welcome to my channel. If you're into blogging, please follow me in WordPress as per below description. And if you're new to my channel, please try to watch in full before subscribing. Please check my previous video related to this. If you're new in Rotorua, the first thing you must do is go to iSight. This is a, a tourist center where you can ask a lot of questions where to go and what to do. To give you a bit of history, Jane Button was born in Rotorua in 1909. She was the first woman pilot to make the return flight from England to Australia and to cross the South Atlantic and Tasman Sea. There you go! Now I'm just touring you around beside the Eyesight Visitor Center and that's the library. Rotorua's greatest draw cards for international and local tourists is to see and experience geothermal wonders. Please check my previous video, the sulfuric bath pools, so you will know more about other geothermal activity. As you can see, the flowers are abundant and so beautiful because of the environment. If you're curious, this type of flowers are called snapdragon and I also have this in my house. It is similar looking to lupins which has more flowers throughout the stems. You can see lupins flowers mostly in the South Island and it is also a tourist draw cards. To give you an idea of the location, Rotorua is in the North Island as well as my hometown which is Oakland City. Okay, let's move on. You can see this signage and uh, all these places and activities. We're not going there. Unfortunately, our three days are not enough and also the budget. Anyway, our next stop is the government gardens. Let's have a look around first. Makikita niyo po marami po talagang building na magkakatabi pero mga oldies na po yan. But then it's well maintained. And this is the Pukeko bird. Although they are not great flyers, they are good waders, swimmers, and runners. They are mostly vegetarians as they eat grasses, but in breeding season, they have to eat meat to feed their chicks some proteins. Nakakatuwa po silang tignan dahil ginagamit nila yung paan nila pambunot ng mga damo. Ang hawak nila parang humahawak din tayo ng ating kubiertos. Ganyan din po sila humawak ng mga grasses. Let's take some photo first. As you have seen my previous video, I already said that most of the birds here are tamed and they don't care about you. And this is actually the museum but it was closed. They also have free tours here aside from the museum but because of COVID so they have to stop it until we can really have some international tourists. Actually, we're enjoying our own backyards since the government is pushing for domestic travels to help the community. And here we are to the rose garden, although the first two are not roses. As 
you can see, you can also sit back and relax here. O di ba masarap magmoni moni dito? Mabango pa. And as usual, giant trees in New Zealand. And I am glad to find the filtered water here, as water is expensive if you buy it in the shops. Beautiful giant tree. Napaka ganda po ng kanyang kulay, di ba po? Yung kanyang mga dahon. Light green. And these are the roses and the playgrounds for little children. But you can see my son is not so little anymore. And there's more to see but we didn't go there. We're too tired to walk over there. And that's it. We're finished with the government gardens. But uh, as per my previous video, I will show you these two be uh, pictures if you remember them from my previous video if not please check them out and still more to come please come back again next time i hope you like this video so please don't forget to like subscribe and hit the bell button see you again next time thank you for watching